Welcome back to Rome Boys. On this episode, we hang it with the Saints again. Today is Saint Joan of Arc. I wish I could speak French and then I would say it in French, but <laughs> Benvenidos. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Before we get started, I'd like to remind everybody to like and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Click Bam. on that like. Yeah, share us with your friends. Check out our website, roamboys.org. In the meantime, Be here real. we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Yeah. Let's do our bio. Oh, oh okay. Joan of Arc, yeah. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc was burned at the stake as a heretic in 1431 at the age of 19. She was beatified in 1909 and canonized in 1920. Born of a fairly well-to-do peasant couple southeast of Paris, Joan was only 12 when she experienced a vision and heard voices that she later identified as St. Michael the Archangel, Catherine of Alexandria, and Margaret of Antioch. I thought you were trying to be French by saying, well to do. Well to do. <laughs> Paris. <laughs> For Paris. Well to do. During the Hundred Years' War, Joan led French troops against the English and recaptured two cities. Eventually captured, Joan was sold to the English and placed on trial for heresy and witchcraft. In the end, she was condemned. The English resented France's military success, to which Joan contributed. In 1431, Joan was burned at the stake in Rouen, and her ashes were scattered. Wow. I w they were scattered. Yeah, maybe as a mm. sign of disrespect, you know, because yeah. you would never do that even right. today, but especially back then. Yeah. You know, just balling them up, throwing them away. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an interesting I don't know. point. Mm. Interesting. Uh, it also on the well-to-do point. It says uh, she was born of a fairly well-to-do peasant couple. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, well-to. Is that another name for middle class? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, well-to-do like, peasant sounds like a good description of my family. There you go. <laughs> well-to-do well peasant, the higher end of peasants. <laughs> yeah. She, Joan of Arc, is the patron saint of France. Prisoners, people ridiculed for their piety, rape victims, and soldiers. Obviously, mm. female soldiers. Duh. Mm. You know, often those in the military carry her medal uh, as a kind of to as her intercession, you know, keep pr protection during their service of their of their country. I wish I had her medal. Yeah. Different meaning. If you got that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the medal. <laughs> uh, a second church trial 25 years uh, later nullified the earlier uh, verdict, which was reached under political pressure. Uh, remembered by most people for her military exploits, uh, Joan had a great love for the sacraments, which strengthened her compassion toward the poor. Popular devotion to her increased greatly in the 19th century France and later among French soldiers during World War I. That's kind of interesting, right? Mm -hmm. This little 14-year-old girl yeah. mm -hmm. uh, is going to be a soldier's hero. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. just... Mind boat. Something Ugly. I've seen lately on T-shirts and in the Catholic world is to Joan up. Stop whining, woman up. Just Joan up, like tough it out. Oh, <laughs> Do that's it. Great. You know, man up, I've, Joan man up. up, Joan up, woman yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so a lot of women I've seen on social media who have that as their my main <laughs> post. Cool. So the, the, the tougher cookies of ladies, you know, out there that, that are not going to yeah. no mess with them. And I understand that. That's good. Stand up for what you believe in and do what's right. Yeah. Each of our kids are named after a saint. Hmm. And Joan is our first and our oldest at She's 12 truly now. truly a Joan. <laughs> Isn't she? She really is. She embraces it. What's crazy is from the moment she was conceived, <laughs> it was... She, she was, was one tough cookie in, <laughs> in the womb. I mean, goodness gracious! Like mama. Like, yeah, <laughs> is she beating you up from the inside mm. out, <laughs> Melissa? I mean, preparing for war. <laughs> yeah, God, she's doing her calisthenics. Yeah. Keep it up, you're looking great. And then I, you learned to have soft, gentle names after this. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. a blaze that is pretty crazy. <laughs> the blaze and saddles, like, watch right, out. Right. So you oh, now. Son, you're on your own. 
Coms. Blaze, yeah. Uh, yeah, our second child is named Anne. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, <laughs> so right, right. there's the... And she's yeah. calm and Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so take that as a as some advice for yeah. us. If you're naming your kids, name them a peaceful... <laughs> 18 children <laughs> will combine there. <laughs> Just be ready for, yeah, whatever you name them. It, it's get what you get. It's going to be true. Uh, so the miracles yeah. approved per canonization. And, of course, she goes way back, so we don't have a lot of details, so... Uh, Sister Therese of St. Augustine, who lived in Orleans, had been cured of leg ulcers through the intercession of St. Joan. Probably TB. Sister Probably. Julie, Julie was cured of cancerous ulcer of her left breast. Probably TB. Yep. And Sister Marie Sagner was miraculously cured of cancer of the stomach. It's possible Probably. it was TB. Okay. Possible. All right. Yeah. There you go. But Joan never had that because she got burned to the stake. You know? Yeah. <laughs> burned up all her TB. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> At 19. Yeah. 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 14. 19. 19. She was 19. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can't believe she lived that long. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but long. she was a military general at age yeah. 15, 16, yeah, yeah. Yeah. whenever With she no was. prior military yeah. experience yeah, yeah. or anything. Just go forward. Um, go! <laughs> despite being one of France's most iconic figures, Joan of Arc was actually illiterate. Yes. Uh, she couldn't mm. read or write, other than sign her name. Mm. Uh, Joan was later known for her warfare contributions, at, like we talked about, but she actually had no battle experience as a child. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, uh, sure. A Why was girl? Yeah, <laughs> yeah or yeah. even a little girl. Well, makes yeah. me think of like, okay, uh, the Dalai Lama. You know, you got a kid directing <laughs> the yeah. entire country or village, or, <laughs> right. right? It's, I mean, to have that much influence as a yeah. child, right? Uh, Pretty crazy. What is this, Lord of the Flies? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, a lot of people who believe that Joan of Arc's last name, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people actually believe that that is her last name. Mm. Of Arc? Of Arc. Really? Yeah. Uh, so. Because there's no town Arc. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Joan of Arc. In reality, uh, Joan didn't even know her own last name. Oh. oh. Yeah. It's well to do. <laughs> well to do, <laughs> peasant. Uh, she referred uh, to herself, though, as Jehan La Pucelle. Uh, so, so <laughs> Johanna actually Johanna. Johanna. So maybe that's where Joan comes from. Okay. Um, well, Joan. Johanna is the um, the trans it, in the male version. It translates to John. Okay. So oh, sure. okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so she couldn't write or sign her name, but she did always sign Johanna for her name. So even today in France, uh, she, Joan is actually known as Johanna. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And she's not in the same family tree of Noah and Noah in the Ark, right? Who was Joan of Arc? Noah's wife? Okay, no, Joan of Arc. <laughs> ah, Lame dad jokes. Yes. <laughs> wow, that one was hitting the bottom of the barrel. That's good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Different spellings. So yeah. Ark and Ark. Born of the Ark. <laughs> the Ark patronage <laughs> of the Ark. It's not just the Ark. Of the Ark. Yeah. Mm. Or, yeah. Anyways, arc, I always think of welding, you know, so it's just like a firecracker. She is a firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, again, thank you all for joining us for this episode of Hanging with the Saints. Joan of Arc, pray for us because we need your help. Yeah. We're hopefully, we're in a battle right now. We didn't yeah. make you any dumber. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, check us out on romeboys.org. And in the meantime, be bold, be real, be, be Catholic. Catholic. God, God bless. bless.